Okay, my next solar project is to fill in this entire window uh, with a solar panel that goes on by itself once the temperature gets warm enough to release the heat. So the vines will be quickly removed, but I'm going to fill in this entire window with the solar panel. And I'm going to get the parts ready together right now for that. Okay, the parts list essentially is pretty simple. I went to the lumber yard and got some plywood with some white finish on it so I don't have to paint the back of it. And some 1x3 right here. And actually, you can do this as well. You can have the plywood pre-cut pre to the size you prefer. In most cases, the lumber yards will do that for you. So that is uh, you know, the number one component, of course. Secondly, you can get these uh, baking pans at uh, some of your bulk stores, uh, Walmarts or um, Costco, uh, Sam's Club, not Walmart, for a good deal. I think these were $6 for a 36-pack. There's no way I'll use that many for this small device right now, but I'll have extras to spare. Also, there's um, a 12-volt fan, which I have hooked up to a... Uh, battery or um, AC outlet as well too that'll go with it and I've got this snap I believe they call it snap lock or snap something or another I'll remind myself later and remind you folks as well uh, it kicks in at a certain temperature so when the heat gets hot enough it'll it'll kick in also for the outside I have um, this uh, plastic covering as well and it's just Real inexpensive plastic covering um, that'll just keep it shielded. And I bought some black cans of spray paint, which I'm not showing here, um, but uh, black cans of spray paint or black cans of spray paint. <laughs> so we're going to begin to put this together step by step. Please uh, post any questions that you have and we'll be sure to help you out. Thank you. We have the frame right here, the one by three. I have them pre cut the size. What you want to do is measure your window, determine the size of your window, and then make the board just maybe a quarter inch less than the window so that it fits in there loosely but tightly enough to cover the whole window. And then you want to make your frame the size of the window, the one by three. As you can see, it goes all the way around. And it's the right size. So what you want to do is take these 3D finish nails and uh, nail the four corners together of the frame and then what you want to do is turn the plywood around and put the nails through the bottom side into the frame to hold it all together. Okay. So now I nailed all the four corners of the frame together and, um, and then I nailed the frame to the plywood itself right here with the finish nails and really you might be thinking well finish nails wouldn't hold it as good as like screws or something that is true um, I wanted to make this look nice and finished on this side but what we also have is later on during the project we'll be caulking the entire inside perimeter so that'll seal it up as well and kind of use it um, as like liquid nails or something along those lines so the next step is we're going to be cutting some holes at the bottom for the cool air ventilation and then we're going to pull out like a half circle out of the top for the heat to come out with the fan so that'll be our next projects okay okay so here's what I've done now I've uh, cut one inch holes in the bottom that's the breather for the bottom of the window unit I actually kind of traced out where the fan will be with a pencil and I went over it with a jigsaw and cut that out as well pretty simple really overall all right so now we come comes the part where you're using these aluminum pans to kind of not only really conduct heat but to hold heat Whole heat. So we're going to eventually paint these black here in the very near future. 
But what you want to do first is lay them out in your pan, in your box. Make sure that your holes, like this hole right here, is cut out. That's my top hole. Now all these bottom holes, I still have to figure out a way to, to drill holes in those. And one other thing I like to do, I've done it on my past pans, is to actually drill holes in the pans as well to create more airflow. So that'll be coming up next. And then after that, what we'll be doing is fastening the pans into the box here. And then after that, we will be spray painting the box and the inside of the pans black. So that'll be next. Okay. Those holes that we talked about. So instead of drilling each one separately, I'm going to grab three or four together and go right in here. And that way when I'm drilling one hole, it can go around the perimeter of this. I'm actually drilling out four at the same time. So that'd be my recommendation. Be careful of the little metal flakings that come from this. They get in your feet and stuff like that. Um, it could be pretty sharp. So watch what you're doing in uh, your eye protection as well too. See how simple that is? screwing these pans in to into the box to the box but first I'm gonna put a little bead of caulk around the inside perimeter as I discussed and uh, seal it off real nice so here we go get a nice bead in there you want to go up the corners a little bit Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's going to help seal it off a little bit better so the air is not escaping in various places. And I just will be doing the entire top. Most sides, most of the way down. And that's it. Okay. It says pause. Oh, no. Still continuing to do is put these screws in, these half inch self tappers in the metal pans here. And the uh, nice thing is they tap right in. Pretty simple, hold it real tight. Okay. Okay, I put a couple of screws diagonally into each pan. I actually cut off the bottom lip so that the airflow would come in. Um, two screws, a couple of screws. The main thing is getting the metal in here. Um, these are kind of like half pans cut. I move these, kind of bent these up so the airflow when it comes up to the out. Um, the heat out uh, would be able to flow easier. Um, nothing too scientific, you know, ultra scientific about it. I put this little corner piece in here, a little extra metal. Now what we need to do is spray paint the entire unit, um, including the white parts that are showing through here, so that when the sun hits hits the black, it heats up faster than, of course, um, than when it, when it hits the white. Okay, that's it. Next time you see this, I will have it spray painted and we'll probably be putting the plastic on in other pieces. Okay, so now here we are. I painted it black. All the pans inside. And I also added this. It's called a snap disc. So essentially the heat will go on at 110 degrees and higher and it'll shut off when it drops down to 85. Um, but it's a snap disc it's called and I put a wire, I hooked a wire to it here, I put it on the inside of the unit um, and then the wire is coming out here and I'll hook it to one of the poles of the fan and the next thing that we'll be doing though uh, most likely today we'll be uh, putting the outside plastic on the unit and sealing it around 
the perimeter with a little bit of caulk as well and that will take care of the seal and be pretty close to being ready to uh, put in the window pretty soon. Okay what I've done now is I've laid out the solar heater got some plastic prepared to lay over it for the covering and I've caulked it with some clear caulk all around the perimeter um, it's hard to see because like I said it's clear but I'm going to lay the plastic on top of it and seal it on and kind of tape it around the edges a little bit and it'll seal on here in the next several hours and whatnot. Uh, essentially that's the next step this is the bottom portion the hole over there is the top and I'm going to have it ready to go pretty soon okay here's how it looks with all the plastic sealed around it right here I actually kind of wiped in the uh, the caulk like this too so that it would stick better but essentially that's how you want your unit to look you can put thicker plastic on um, to see the plastic seizing especially on the indoor windows um, you really don't need a whole lot more just lacking that heat long enough for it to pour out the top opening and that's it for now okay here it is degrees keeping in some warm air here's the room use the bigger fan to circulate it better very happy with the way it worked out sealed all the holes in the bottom I made one larger hole at the top one side circle cut out for that thing specifically. And it runs well. Blowing up the room. <laughs>